everyone welcome to e knowledge hub i am manjush and in this video we are going to see the application of verbs we have already learned the theoretical part of verb where we learned what is verb and types of verbs and a few rules associated with them now let us see the application part of verbs in the form of error detection and correction of sentences now let's begin our today's video on application of verbs sentence If I was the chief minister I would eradicate corruption in the state. So what is the error? Here it is very clear that it is in imaginary condition. If I was the chief minister, I am not the chief minister and I don't have any intention to become one. But here we are saying that in imagination. If you know it's class imaginary condition, it becomes a piece of cake for you to answer because In imaginary condition, we must use past subjunctive verb. Yes, remember always verb must be the verb regardless of the number or person. First person, second person, third person, singular, plural. We must always use verb as the past subjunctive. Hence, the correct sentence is: If I were the chief minister, I would eradicate corruption in the state. and another important thing second important point about this if clause in imaginary condition is after past subjunctive verb if there is any pronoun the pronoun must be in subjunctive case like if she were he not him if she were he she would not take dowry that means he has taken now look at similar examples If I were you I would not do it. If I had enough money I would buy BMW. If I had wings I would fly to Mars. If she were a boy she would not take dowry. Now let's see the second one. Mohan didn't have money which was needed for his mother's operation. What is the error in this sentence? Mohan didn't have money. is it correct or not mohan subject didn't have money did to place v1 all right which is a relative pronoun the subject of the relative pronoun is its precedent precedent is money and after relative pronoun what do we have war but the subject money is it singular or plural remember money is uncountable noun we cannot say one money two money three money So all uncountable nouns are singular. Hence, we require to use singular verb. The right sentence is: Mohan didn't have money which was needed for his mother's operation. Now let's see similar example. Money is essential to lead a comfortable life. Music is a blessing in disguise for disturbed minds. They did not have furniture which was needed to make a home look elegant. The information provided by Sandeep is false. Now let's see the next sentence. She hurted me a lot with her words. What is the error and what should be the correction? If you remember irregular verbs which are also called strong verbs. We have seen three sets of irregular verbs. So here the verb hurt fall under set 1 where all three forms are same hurt 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 no hurted hurted put 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 no putted putted right so the correct sentence is she hurt me with her words this is in past tense so we have to make it past tense we cannot say she hurts me a lot with her words it's not continuous or usual process So the right sentence is she hurt me a lot with her words. Now look at similar examples. It cost me 900. She set down a bottle on the table. He thrust the baby into my hands and ran away. The door is shut by Sharmuka. Look at the next sentence. The cooler was very noisy so I turned off it. What is the error? Phrasal verb if you remember is a verb which is formed by the combination of verb and particle the particle can be either a preposition or an adverb or sometimes a verb here we have a phrasal verb turn off 
right now the rule is if the direct object of the phrasal verb is a pronoun if the direct object of the phrasal verb is a pronoun that pronoun must be placed in between the phrasal verb so the right one is turn it off the cooler was very noisy so i turned it off look at similar examples can you pick me up he switched off the lights he called me up now look at the next sentence when i saw radha she watched movie what is the error you can definitely say the sentence is incorrect but what is that incorrect part when i saw radha okay she watched movie that means after she watched the movie you saw radha or something in between so it is not after she watched after she watched if you saw her how do you know whether she watched or not so the action has taken place when another action was going on when one action started and going on continuously and another action took place in between that action which was going on should be in continuous and that action which took place in between should be a simple tense so the right sentence is when i saw radha she was watching movie now look at similar examples when i went to kumar's house kumar's father was scolding him while she was walking across the road the traffic police shouted at her when i saw gopal he was preparing notes for the lecture while they were watching television the lights went off next sentence 20 km or a long distance what is the error question number 1 how many distances are we talking about no it's not 20 it is only one distance a distance and that distance is of 20 km by seeing the subject 20 km people feel that it is a plural subject so we require a plural verb but no the 20 km is taken as a unit of a distance and it should be considered singular the right sentence is 20 km is a long distance look at similar examples 15 years is a long time to wait 10 hours is enough to make a documentary or short film 40 rupees is enough to buy a bottle of coconut water 5 kilometers is the distance i need to cover in 1 hour remember units of time units of distance units of money and units of weight should be considered singular when we are talking about a singular result now look at the next sentence the politician and poet have been expelled from the country So what is the error? What is the subject of the sentence? The politician and poet. Is it singular or plural? I already told you in nouns chapter if there is only one article before two nouns that means we have only one person. If there are two different articles before two nouns that means two different persons. Now how many articles do we have? The politician and poet. Only one article that means the subject is singular hence we require a singular verb has the politician and poet has been expelled from the country now look at similar examples the director and producer was honored by the film industry the headmaster and the teacher have announced the list of students who got selected for the talent test the poet and philanthropist is here the dance master and judge has appreciated the participants Now look at the next sentence. Every man and woman in the party are going to take part in rumba. What is the subject? Every man and woman in the party. Is it singular or plural? Our subject has every which is a distributive pronoun. However, here it is acting as distributive adjective. Now the rule is Distributive pronouns are always followed by singular verbs because they refer to one at a time. So how many nouns they are followed by also it should be always singular. So every man and woman in the party is going to take part in rumba. Now look at similar examples. 
Many a woman has committed suicide in a fit of anger. Either of the boys was blamed for the fault. Neither of the services is offered here. One of the toys works with a remote control. Every boy and every girl sees off the teacher. Now look at the next sentence. The teacher as well as the students are busy with the college annual day celebrations. So what is the error? So what is the subject here? The teacher as well as the students. Is it singular or plural? You may feel it plural but here it is singular because here the teacher as well as the students. The two nouns are connected by as well as. We learned in pronouns the conjunctions like with, together with, in addition to, including, as well as, except, etc. gives additional information. That means the second noun here becomes additional information only the first noun is considered as subject. Here the first noun is the teacher which is singular hence we require to use a singular verb. The right sentence is the teacher as well as the students is busy with the college annual day celebrations. Now look at the similar examples. The head constable with the constables is sent to Mahanadu meeting to tighten the security. The minister along with the officials was releasing the brochure of the company. Amir together with Akshay has attended the audio launch of the movie. Amla as well as Vimla is arrogant. Now let's see the next sentence. Either Dhoni or Reina are going to lead the CSK in the next edition of IPL. So what is the error? In order to answer this sentence, you require to have knowledge on correlative conjunctions. So first let's see what are correlative conjunctions and then we'll answer this. Correlative conjunction is a conjunction which is used in pairs. That means the conjunctions are always used in pairs. What are those? Look at this pairs. Either or, neither, nor, not only, but also both and whether or, so, that, to, to, hardly, when, scarcely, when, no sooner than, etc. There are many. So these are a few. Third point. Correlative conjunctions must be always followed by same parts of speech. That means if there is a noun after either, after or also we must have a noun. If there is a verb after neither, after nor also we must have a verb because they are always followed by same parts of speech. Rule number four. Correlative conjunctions follow principle of proximity. What is this principle of proximity? Proximity means nearby, closeness. So according to the principle of proximity, when two nouns, let's say noun 1 and noun 2, are connected by correlative conjunctions, the verb must agree with its nearest noun. What is the nearest noun? Noun 2. That means the verb concurs with noun 2. Look at these cases. First noun is singular, second noun is singular. The verb and the pronoun must be singular because second noun is singular. Case 2. First noun is plural, second noun is plural. The verb and the pronoun must be plural because second noun is plural. Case 3. First noun is singular and second noun is plural. The verb must be plural and the pronoun must be plural because second noun is plural. Case 4. First noun is plural, second noun is singular. Then the verb should be in singular only in the absence of pronoun. If there is a pronoun, the verb and the pronoun must be in plural. This is the exception. So this is what principle of proximity means. So according to this, now let's answer our sentence. Either Doni or Reina. Either or correlative conjunction, correct pair. Either Doni or Reina. Noun, noun, correct. Now we have to see principle of proximity. Doni, singular, Reina, singular. The first noun is singular, second noun is singular. The verb and the pronoun must be singular. 
So here the verb is are, but we require a singular verb is. So the correct sentence is either Dhoni or Reina is going to lead the CSK in the next edition of IPL. Now let's see similar examples. Either Ravi or Kiran keeps the board. Neither Maya now Soumya backs up Priya. Either the cold drink or the ice cream is what I want. Neither Kavya nor Shravya was moving in a wrong direction. Now let's see the next sentence. Either she or I is selected for this. So what is the error? Either or she I. You may feel it is correct but no. It is incorrect because according to the principle of proximity, verb should agree with the nearest one. So here the nearest one is, in fact here there is a pronoun, the nearest pronoun is I. So I, first person singular. Can I take is? No. So the correct sentence is either she or I am selected for this. Now look at similar examples. Either you or they have the privacy to use my laptop. Either Gopi or I am innocent. Either you or Shravna is above the board. Either you or Samya was in the accident zone. Now let's see the next one. I made him to work harder. I made him to work hard. What is the error? We have learned causative verbs. Causative verbs are the verbs which cause another action to happen. Here made is a causative verb which is always followed by bare infinitive not to infinitive. So here I'm going to give you a list of verbs which act as causative verbs and followed by bare infinitive. The verbs like make, keep, watch, bid, date, hear, let, help, need and see are sometimes used as causative verbs and they are followed by bare infinitive. The correct sentence is I made him work hard. Look at similar examples. Let him do it. Do not use any force. I want to help him solve his problem. The doctors watch him pull through. Please make him sit here. Now let's see the next sentence. You do not need worry about them. So what is the error? I told you in modal auxiliary verbs need dare which are used as semi-modal auxiliaries that means can function as both main verb as well as auxiliary verb when need and dare used as auxiliary verbs they are followed by main verbs in V1 but when need and dare are used as main verbs with other verb as auxiliary verb then they must be followed by to infinitive especially if the structure is do plus need or do plus dare they are followed by to infinitive hence the right sentence is you do not need to worry about them look at similar examples they do not need to prolong the project we do not dare to take risk and trouble ourselves you do not need to assist him in his work you do not dare to find an alternative for this now let's see the next sentence. I promise for helping you out in trouble. What is the error? There are some list of verbs which are followed by two infinitives. There are some list of verbs which are followed by bare infinitives and some list of verbs which are followed by gerund. Already we have seen the list of verbs which are followed by bare infinitives in the form of positive verbs. Now promise is in such a list of verbs which always followed by to infinitive. Hence the right sentence is I promise to help you out in trouble. Now look at the list of verbs and similar examples. The verbs like agree, arrange, attempt, seize, care, consent, decide, determine, endeavor, form, forget, hesitate, hope, learn, manage, neglect, prepare, promise, propose, refuse, regret, remember, see, swear, undertake, etc. Take to infinitive after them. Now look at similar examples. The government promised to uplift the poor. Manya decided to quit the job. Why do you hesitate to help the needy? It's easy to listen to songs. Now let's see the next sentence. She would rather to go for shopping. What is the error? 
there are some expressions which are followed by bare infinitive would rather would sooner had better always followed by bare infinitive so the right sentence is she would rather go for shopping to get similar examples though the pitch gives some assistance to the bowlers ganguly would rather go for batting she would rather opt for joining medicine bono would sooner start writing a few blogs in famous sites now look at the next sentence being a rainy day i decided to stay indoors so what is the error now there are two clauses in the sentence being a rainy day i decided to stay indoors so what is the subject of the first clause is there any subject being a rainy day no if a sentence started with being without any subject and the object of being and the subject of the next clause are entirely different like in the given sentence being a rainy day object rainy day i decided i is the subject of the next class i and rainy day no you cannot be a rainy day so remember if a clause started with being and there is no subject it takes the subject of the next clause as its subject but can we take the second clause subject as a subject of being i decided to stay indoors can i be a rainy day no here the first class object and the second class subject are not same rainy day and i are not same hence we have to use a neutral pronoun before be the right sentence is it being a rainy day i decided to stay indoors but if the object of being and the subject of the next class are same then you no need to use another pronoun before being for example being a famous cartoonist he was invited to the seminar so here famous cartoonist and he both are same hence no pronoun is required now look at similar examples it being a memorable day i have given her a precious gift it being a busy day in my life i could not spare time for my children it being insipid food even my dog did not touch it it being an enthralling show thousands of people turned up for it now look at the next sentence she is taking milk every day so what is the correction here we have every day in the sentence which is a time indicator and it denotes daily action so remember for daily actions we must use simple present so the correct sentence is she takes milk every day now look at the similar examples we go for a walk every morning they visit shimla every summer rahul prays to god every dawn and dusk he goes to movies once in a blue moon let's see the next sentence madhu just read a comic story what is the error madhu just read a comic story the sentence expresses the action completed just now remember for such actions which are completed just now we must write them in present perfect tense because just is a time indicator of present perfect hence the right sentence is madhu has just read a comic story now look at similar examples she has just written a letter the police have just arrested the eu teasers i have just vacated the room he has just paid the rent now look at the next sentence india has won the t20 world cup in 2007 what is the error here we have 2007 which is a time indicator of past 2007 we have it time clear time is mentioned hence when there is a time indicator representing the past we must write the sentence in simple past hence the right sentence is india won the t20 world cup in 2007 now look at similar examples last year we went to solar jung museum i invited my friends to my birthday party last week i got promotion in 2010 they relocated to bengaluru last summer now look at the next sentence the tribal people heard the lion roared what did they hear after lion roared can they hear something no the sentence is logically incorrect and of course grammatically too 
So remember, there are a list of verbs when they are followed by a noun or a pronoun. That noun or a pronoun must be followed by present participle V4. The tribal people heard the lion roaring. Not after roar, they can't hear anything, right? So look at these list of verbs. Verbs like catch, keep, live, hear, listen, start, observe, smell, see, like, look, perceive, sometimes followed by noun or a pronoun should be followed by present participle. Look at similar examples. She observed him playing video games. I saw the thief stealing my brother's wallet. The police caught the bookies betting on the campus. The aspirant of IAS kept the ball rolling and tasted success. Now look at the next sentence. Megana likes her food boiling. Again, illogical. Megana likes her food boiling. If food is boiling, she likes it? No. What the real sense is, she doesn't like raw food. She likes boiled food. So, contrary to the previous example. When the verbs like, wish, prefer, want are followed by noun or a pronoun, that noun or a pronoun must be followed by past participle, V3. Hence, the right sentence is, Megana likes her food boiled. Look at similar examples. I always prefer breakfast prepared by 7.30 a.m. I prefer my lunch prepared by my mother. They wish their gramophone repaid. I want to get it done by Rajesh. Now look at the next sentence. Prevent him to do that. What is the error in the sentence? I already told you there are some list of words which are followed by gerund. So here we go. Prevent is from a list of verbs which always followed by gerund. And remember one more thing. Prevent generally takes preposition from and followed by gerund. Hence the right sentence is prevent him from doing that. Now look at these list of verbs. The verbs like avoid, detest, dislike, enjoy, deny, catch, bait, help, keep, mind, prevent, risk, stop, etc. are generally followed by gerund. Now look at these examples. Do not mind giving donation to a service organization. Avoid crooning in the bathroom. Keep going till you reach your goal. Enjoy helping others. Now look at the next sentence. She accustomed to tease boys. You may feel the sentence is absolutely correct, but no, it is incorrect. There is an error in the sentence. So what is the error? There are some list of phrases which are followed by gerund. So here, accustomed to is a phrase which is followed by a gerund. Hence, the right sentence is, she is accustomed to teasing boys. Look at this list of phrases. The phrases like fed up with, accustomed to, habituated to, is no good, is no use, is used to, looking forward to, tired of, tired with, with a view to, and is worth are followed by gerund. Look at the similar examples. She is looking forward to meeting her childhood friend. I am habituated to teaching the tribal children. It is no good waiting for inspiration. It is no use expecting a positive result from his work. Now look at the next sentence. If he will work hard, he will achieve the desired result. So what is the error? It comes under if class open condition or condition 1. The structure of the sentence should be if plus simple present followed by simple future. Two classes can never be in simple future. The main clause should be in simple future and the subordinate clause or the dependent clause here it is if clause should be in simple present. So the right sentence is if he works hard he will achieve the desired result. Now look at similar examples. If you exercise regularly you will be free from all ailments. If piracy is encouraged no one will come to the theatre. 
If software employees get a pink slip, they will be in blues. If the officer is in trouble, his subordinates will come to his rescue. Now look at the next sentence. Do you like India? Yes, I like. No, it is grammatically incorrect sentence. If a question begins with do you like, your answer should be yes, I do or no, I don't. Do not use like unless you have an intention to prolong the answer like yes, I like India very much but not its weather. Then you can use a like. Okay, but unless you want to continue the answer, don't use that. You can say yes, I do. Look at similar examples. Do you like this video? Yes, I do. Do you like going to beach in your spare time? Yes, I do. Do you like photography? No, I don't. Do you like English? Yes, I like English but not the tricky grammar. Now let's see the next sentence. One of my friends are in Canada. What is the error? Remember, one of the always takes plural noun and a singular verb. Why? Because we are talking about one of many. I have many friends, but I'm not talking about all. I'm talking about one of many. So one of the always take plural noun, but the actual subject of the sentence is one, which is singular, hence we require a singular verb. So one of my friends is in Canada. Now look at similar examples. One of the dresses has been torn. One of my favorite holiday spots is Goa. One of the letters written by John Keats was found on his tomb at Westminster Abbey. Do you know the guy in resplendent clothes? He is one of the big wigs of Silicon City. Now look at the next sentence. Ashok put a noose around his neck and hung himself in a fit of anger. So what is the error? Here you require to know the conjugation of verb for hang. What's the conjugation of hang? Hang, hung, hung. Correct. But there is one more conjugation. Hang, hanged, hand is also correct. But when to use what? If the meaning to be communicated is to kill, then you require to use hang, hang, hang. And hang, hung, hung is used when the meaning is one end of something is fixed and the other end is loose. Like when you talk about hanger, here we are hanging the shirt. That means one end is fixed, the other end is loose. That means the shirt was hung to the hanger. In the given sentence, we require a meaning of to kill. He killed himself. So the correct sentence is Ashok put a noose around his neck and hanged himself in a fit of anger. Now look at similar examples. Ashok was hanged after the verdict. He hung his shirt on the hook. In the olden days, people were hanged for stealing. The dog's tongue was hanging out. Now look at the next sentence. I doubt mother will not assist me. So what is the error? What is it with doubt? Doubt means something uncertain. That means doubt itself is a negative word. Do not use another negative word with doubt because minus minus becomes plus but we require negative sense. So remove doubt. I doubt Madhu will assist me. Now look at similar examples. We doubt his hard work will pay off. They doubt all the students attend the workshop. I doubt Shekhar Kamula will direct a horror movie. I doubt she will accompany me. Now look at the next sentence. The hen lay egg yesterday. What is the error? We feel it is correct but no. You should know the conjugation of lay, lie, lie. What are B2 and B3 forms of lay, lie, lie? Here we go. First let's see lie. Lie, lied, lied. Telling false statement. Lie, lie, lied. Next line, placing the body horizontally. Lie, lay, lean. And lay, producing eggs or ones. Laid, laid. 
So the correct sentence is the hen laid egg yesterday. Now look at similar examples. The cuckoo lays its egg in other bird's nest. The hens are not laying well. The hen had laid eggs before we reached home. The cat was lying fast asleep by the fire. Now look at the next sentence. The quality of the goods are reasonably good. What is the error? What is the subject of the sentence? The quality, not goods. The subject is the quality. Here quality is it singular or plural? It's an uncountable, so singular. Hence we require to use the singular verb. The quality of the goods is reasonably good. Now look at similar examples. The quality of the pencils is not satisfactory. The standard of the boys in class 9 is reasonably good. The quality of water packets is not good. The beauty of the clothes seems to outdo his personal elegance. Look at the next sentence. Learn leading a simple life. What is the error? I have already given you in a list of verbs which are always followed by two infinitives. Learn is always followed by two infinitives and the sentence is an imperative. So the right sentence is Learn to lead a simple life. We get similar examples. Learn to respect your country. Learn to come in time or on time to college. Learn to help the needy. Learn to cut down your expenditure. Now look at the next sentence. Cindy believed that she was not a murderer. What is the error? The verb deny means not accepting something. That means it is a negative verb. So if you use not, it gives positive sense. But she is denying that. Hence the right sentence is Shindi denied that she was a murderer. To get similar examples, Pratham denied that she saw the accident. The culprits denied that they supported the goats outside. They denied that they murdered their friend. She denied that she was an accomplice. And look at the next sentence. Gokul walks as if today is the last day of his life. What is the error? In the given sentence, we have as if, which indicates something is not true. It's just imagination. Is today the last day of Gokul's life? No. How can we say that? Because we have as if. So, it comes under imaginary. Hence, we have to use past subjunctive verb. The right sentence is Gokul walks as if today were the last day of his life. Look at similar examples. I wish I were somewhere else. He spoke as if he were the Prime Minister. If she were Taslima Nasreen, she would not go back to Bangladesh. She spoke as if she were the breadwinner. Now look at the next sentence. The serial is worth to watch. What is the error? Is worth is from the list of phrases which always followed by Jared. So the right sentence is the serial is worth watching. You get similar examples. The book is worth reading. The lecture is worth listening. The chicken curry is worth eating. Now let's see the last sentence. It's time. You should realize your mistake. What is the error? Remember, if a sentence starts with it's time, it's right time, it's quite time, it's about time, the next clause must be in simple past, not in any other tenses. The right sentence is, it's time you realized your mistake. That means you didn't realize till now. At least now you should. Right? get similar examples. It's time you realized your responsibility. It's time she got employed. It's time we wrote exams. It's time you applied for a passport. Right then, that's all about our verbs application. I hope it is clear. So do learn the rules and try to apply them through error detection or sentence improvement. So I'll be seeing the next video with a new chapter. Till then, Take care, have a nice time and do remember to subscribe to the channel and share the video.